Our favorite games of September. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm Psychic Larry. I'm Hannah. I'm Jonah. I'm Melissa. And I'm Kevin. And we are discussing our superb September games. <laughs> and I think we're going to start with Katie. Oh, with me. Okay. So... I finally got to play Raising Robots, um, and I had a great time. I've, I've played it several times now. I haven't won. I, I was <laughs> felt certain I was going to win this last time. Ryan Ryan's pretty win. good at it. I know. Well, it wasn't Ryan that won. We Ooh. invited a friend over, and he it was his first time, and he beat all of us. Wow. wow. So, anyway, but um, I've had a great time playing this. There's a lot of... Um, engine building that mm -hmm. goes into this. Do you and have, like one favorite thing you like about it? Um, I think my one favorite, oh, I mean, besides the cute illustrations, um, <laughs> is I, I like that it's the type of action selection that um, if you kind of, like, everybody sort of gets to play depending on what's going on. Like, I'll choose this action, Kevin mm -hmm. may choose another one, but then um, if you have energy, you can also play cool. those actions. Love so I, I like that everybody could kind of be involved throughout the whole thing. Muscle, it's because of the race for the galaxy. Yes. yes. Yeah. The, the simultaneous selection and play. And yes, yeah. that's I, I really like that. And I really like to see it in games more often, I think. Mm -hmm. Me next. <laughs> I have Whoa. The Witcher <gasps> Old Ooh. World. I didn't bring the whole game because it's so heavy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we got to play this game. Uh, we did a video about it. Me and Amy reviewed this video or this game. Uh, it was super fun to play. Uh, the theme was great. If you like The Witcher cool. uh, TV show or video game, it definitely has the feel and the theme of those <clears throat> of the IP. <laughs> and I mean, I really like the fighting part of it. Uh, being able to combo your cards. It had a pretty neat comboing system cool. uh, where cards had a specific color and then they had tabs on it and if you match the tab with the next color card you could combo the cards and do more things. So I think that was super interesting. Also obviously the art and the miniatures if you get the deluxe version. <laughs> it was a fun experience. So check it out. The Witcher Old World. Cool. My superb September game is uh, Pyramido by Synapsis Games. In this game, you are building a pyramid by using these colored domino tiles that are flat, and you have four different levels to the pyramid that you're building over rounds, but you only have three options to choose from, and the person before you got to pick what one of those options were so they can really mess with you and your colors. But what you did in the previous round will affect how well you score in the next round. So there is some thinking and stuff, but it's a lot of fun to kind of build this three-dimensional shape, but you have to constantly think about setting yourself up for success in the next round or messing with the person that's next to you. Ooh. It's really, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. But that's, I also enjoy it. It's a lot of it's fun. Cool. And that's Pyramido. All right, so my game is My Island uh, from mm -hmm. Cosmos. So this is a legacy game and one of my favorite things about the game is actually just how similar it is to My City, but also how very different it is to my city. <laughs> I, like I like that you could open this box and if you've played uh, my city before then you'll know exactly how to play. No no issues there. But of course almost every aspect is different and with it being a legacy game and opening a bunch of envelopes as you play it's just fun. It's fun to go through, it's fun to have something new and exciting. Uh, full disclosure, I'm not all the way through okay. my island yet. Right. Um, and so I've only got... So it could get worse. Yeah. It, <laughs> <laughs> but so far so good. And so that's my game for September, my island. So I'm a little jealous. I haven't got a chance to play it mm. yet, but maybe soon. Yep. My favorite game of September is also a legacy game. It is Ticket to Ride Legacy Legends of the West. We have a advanced copy. So we've already played through all 12 games in the, wow. the legacy game. <laughs> 
I can't really tell you any spoilers. <laughs> but it was great. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. Uh, we played a five player campaign, so it was max players. Some people in this room played in the campaign as well. I enjoyed it as well. Uh, favorite things, opening up those new mm -hmm. regions, seeing what's in the boxes, yep. figuring out the new mechanics for that round, that game, and then just seeing how things evolved. There's also some uh, personal like information that you can get, and that was always fun, having oh, yeah. something kind of secret from the other players and wondering, ooh, what does Kevin have? What does he know? <laughs> what does Jonah know that I don't know? Um, so, lots of fun. Eventually, we'll have a video about oh, it. Yes, it's a not spoiler free, so it's full spoilers. Yeah, so we have to wait a while before yeah. we can post that. And but I do highly recommend it if you like Ticket to Ride, if you like legacy games. Um, and yeah, I think. And anything non spoiler like, can I, nope. anyone wants to add? Just in case you were at home wanting to know, you cannot score negative points. You'll stop right at zero, <laughs> just in case you have a bad game. I, I wouldn't know from experience. <laughs> I think I read it in one of the pages of the book. So, <laughs> so, I, <that's> <laughs> so I might have also really enjoyed it because I won the campaign. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, like wow. overall? Like, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now yeah. I'm jealous of this one. I'm like, this is the one, I, one, I, one legacy game I want to play. I would get this again and replay it. Ooh. Okay. Look at that. So, I get to play now. There you go. <laughs> Uh, mine is Apiary uh, from Stonemaier Games. This plays 1 to 5, takes about 60 to 90 minutes to play. This, every time a Stonemaier game comes out, I'm always interested in mm -hmm. like what's new or different about it. He usually has interesting mechanics or themes. The theme is, as um, our video is already live, the theme is a little weird. Bees in space. <laughs> but you can check out a little bit more on uh, our over our viewpoints on the uh, game itself. What I really appreciate it in Apiary is it's a worker placement game and it you can upgrade your workers throughout the game so you can go from a one to two to three to four and you're doing more powerful things with those uh, worker bees. Yeah, people. There it goes. <laughs> Peoples. <laughs> Peoples. Um, nice. Yeah, I don't know if you guys want to <laughs> chime in with anything else. You I like I will say this is the I am oh. not a worker placement fan. Yeah. Barely at all. This is the one worker placement I walked away from and thought about it for about three days mm. of like what I could have done differently, how I could do it, and I was like eager to come back and play it again. So I think that's like the highest praise I can give a cool. worker placement game. Yeah, I enjoy the asymmetry in the game. You have a faction, you have a board, all different sorts of things that are going to be different each game, so lots yeah. of variability. Mm -hmm. So that can be a plus because you're always trying new things. It can also be a minus because sometimes you can have those ups and downs based on how everything works together. But I yeah. enjoyed it as well. Mm -hmm. You want to close this out, Jenna? Let's do it. So that was our best and most favorite games of September. Some might call them the superb games of September. <laughs> what you should do is if you've played any of them or if you've watched our other videos, you should leave us a comment and let us know what you resonate with or what games you liked or didn't like, it, what games you're anticipating getting to your table very soon, because we want to know that, and we'll interact with you in the comments if you tell us. Uh, and what you should also do is wait till next month when we talk about our spookiest games of October. Oh. Or something like that. <laughs> Until next time, we'll see you guys soon. Bye! Spooky it, has, it has to start with an O. So it's alliteration. <laughs> Jonah's like the occult yeah. game. <laughs> the obvious October yeah. game. The ominous. Ooh. Ominous. Ominous is spooky, yeah. <clears throat> Oblivious.